Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I'm going to show you guys a pretty quick and fun Halloween painting. All right. And we're going to be just using white, green, yellow, and black. I'm kind of uh, down to my last bits of certain colors, so I'm going to just make do. I'm going to be using a foam brush here for the background. And let's see, this is simply acrylic got from Walmart. So I'm going to start with some of that in the middle as well as a little bit of yellow. The key here is a circular motion. So I'm going to start in the middle and go out. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little bit darker yellow. And then I'm also going to get in there with some green. This is a lighter green. <laughs> this is definitely not the usual way I do this, but I think this should work. And then we're going to go with a darker green. Okay. So once again, keeping in our circle here, and we're going to add in the green. And the darker green. Okay. Now you want to fill in any spots that have white. Add more paint as needed. I'm going to go in here with some more of the darker green. Okay, I've now gotten the entire background covered. I'm gonna go in the middle here with a little bit more white. And I'm flipping over to the clean side of my brush. You can also just use a clean brush. And I'm going to just go all the way out now and blend this all together. Look at that magic, okay? So we now have a killer background with a moon per se. All right, we're gonna now go ahead and add in a graveyard. So we basically just need, whoop. <laughs> yep, we just need a bunch of black down here. And you can wait till the background dries if you want, or you just keep going. I'm gonna just keep going because I don't want this to be the world's longest video. Um, and you can use either your foam brush to do this because it's, it's black, it should be fine. Or you can use a different brush if you want. So right now we're creating a ground here. Okay. And you can totally do the edges as you go along if you'd like. Now I do have extra black paint here. So I'm gonna now take just like a medium flat brush. And what I'm gonna do is just add in some gravestones. As many as you want. I usually like to do maybe three. All right, one more over here for now. And you can make them a little more exciting. Like if you want to add in a little top part here, maybe a cross, you can write rest in peace, whatever you want on there, okay? All right, and then we got just a couple more steps here. 
You can, of course, stop at any point that you're happy. But we're going to go ahead and add in a tree because I love trees and I feel like they just add some dimension, you know. They really bring the piece together. All right, so we start out with our main branches. Now this is in a graveyard, so this is not going to have a ton of branches and it's going to be kind of a scraggly little tree. The key part with branches is make them a bit thicker towards the tree trunk. Most trees have branches like that. And then go thinner as they go out. And then the easiest way I've found to end off um, trees is, or branches is in a V. So see how this ends in a V here? We're just going to leave that like that. Add a few more onto this one. Leave that. You can definitely, definitely overdo it on branches. So I'm going to try to keep this one real simple. I'm kind of making the bottom here blend in with the ground. And there you have your tree, okay? So let's add a little more interest to these gravestones. All right, I think that's good. You can of course keep going, add in anything else you want. You can add in another tree, um, more definitely more gravestones. You could add in some stars very easily. You know, whatever you want, have fun, create with it. But I just think this is kind of a cute, simple little Halloween painting. Great to do with kids, with friends, etc or just you know by yourself if you're having fun all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this please do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time